What is going on guys? We are back at Wembley with Lions FC. Thanks so much for the um, support I've received on the video last week. I appreciated it. And uh, thanks to the comments with suggestions for new managers and signings. Of course, you can see we've given Harry Redknapp the go. We've taken him from Newcastle where he was. He's taken over at the Lions. So... Let's have a little look at the players we decided to bring in. Um, Andros Townsend has left. They've sold Andros Townsend to Watford for 4.4 million. He only made one appearance last season. Um, so it hasn't worked out for him there. Uh, but as far as incomings have gone, I've taken uh, Loftus-Cheek from, um, <clears throat> from Chelsea. He's come in. Um, didn't play for Chelsea last season but went out on loan to Birmingham I'd imagine that Lions will loan him out uh, if I'm honest we've also got Charlie Austin he's come in um, he's currently in the under 21s bizarrely but uh, he got 29 goals in 40 appearances last season for QPR Nick Powell has come in at, uh, at centre mid from Manchester United he was on loan at Wigan uh, the season before last, he made one appearance for United last season in the league and three in the cup, getting a goal. So it'll be interesting to see how he does this year. Aaron Cresswell, a player that many of us have all looked at um, when he was at Tranmere and Ipswich and probably purchased. He's in now at Lions. He has played for, uh, 32 games for West Ham last season. So he'll be pushing Leighton Baines, I'd imagine. Rolando Aaron's big, big, big fan of this guy. Um, signed him first on FM a few years ago when he was a kid, when he first came through. And um, really liked him. He started to come through in the first team now in real life. Uh, made 12 dribble attempts in the limited time that he had, which is quite high. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is quite high in the games that he played this season. Um, played three on this for Newcastle last season, getting an assist. So he's one for the future, probably get loaned out. Alex Mowat from Leeds, another one who was uh, shouted out in the comments. Uh, played 24, uh, 21, goal, uh, 21 games in the league and got five goals last season. We got there in the end uh, for Leeds. So could have good stuff from him. Jack Watmow, or Watmo, or Watmo. <laughs> What more? Jack Watmo? What Mao? Jack? <laughs> uh, I'm only messing. I'm only messing. Don't start complaining. Um, he's coming from Peterborough. Uh, Peterborough. Fucking Jesus. I'm all over the place today, guys. I apologise. He's here from Portsmouth, where he made 34 appearances last season with two assists and two Man of the Match awards. So those are the guys in. Like I say, Townsend has been given a boot. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So, let's head on over and have a look how they've got on in pre-season. Lost on the opening uh, pre-season friendly to Leverkusen at Wembley by a goal to nil. Didn't play well at all, did they? Did they, Leverkusen, but still managed to pick up the win. Um, Daniel Sturridge picking up a knock and Lana picking up a knock in that, which is not what you would want to hear. Uh, they followed that up with another defeat. Ouch. 4-1 at the hands of Bordeaux. Uh, storage with the goal. Fabian Delph getting booked there. Again, oh, Bordeaux absolutely dominated them. But then against Newport County. Um, what's wrong with that? Why won't it? Why won't it let me click on that? How bizarre. They won 7-0 against Newport County. Oxlade Chamberlain, Gibbs, Young, Sturridge, Welbeck, and Rooney all on the score sheet. They then came up against Inter Milan and drew one all at Wembley. Uh, Danny Welbeck with a the goal there. Slightly better performance. At this point, Redknapp was in, I believe. So um, it, it, that should have sort of boosted them, you know, given them the boost and made them kick on a little bit. They then lost 1 0 to Brentford. Randomly, Andre Gray with a goal for Brentford. 
Then uh, in the home tie of the Europa League qualifiers against uh, Rijka, they drew one all, which is pretty poor. Gary Cahill getting sent off. Uh, Pesic equalising very late on. Storage with the goal, though, to give them the lead. Forster having to come off with a knock in that game as well. Joe Hart replacing him. Not a bad replacement, is it, when all said and done? Yeah, not a bad replacement when all said and done. They then uh, lost 3-1 to AC Milan. Harry Kane with the goal. Torres, Pazzini and Matri with the goals for um, Milan. But pre-season not going brilliantly well for the Lions, is it? They did, however, recover in the Europa League to spank. Uh, Rishka by five goals to nil away. Sterling, Sturridge, Welbeck and Henderson with the goals there. Interesting three uh, Liverpool players on the score sheet there. And a one-all draw against Travis and Spore. <laughs> that rhymed. To end it off, Wayne Rooney getting the goal there. So they're going in to the opening day against Tottenham, and we're going to do things a little bit differently this time. We're going to um, we're going to watch a game um, for the video. So we'll watch the opening day. We'll watch the game just after. Uh, we'll watch a game just after the transfer window, and we'll watch their last competitive game of the season. Just to throw a little bit of difference in there. See how they're playing. See how they're performing, and um, generally just see what they get up to. So let's crack on and have a look at this Tottenham match, shall we? So it's the opening game of the Premier League, live on TV, at home at Wembley to Tottenham Hotspur. Let's have a little look and see what teams they've got cracking on. Redknapp against, will face one of his former clubs as well. Pochettino still in charge at Tottenham. Redknapp has been at Lions FC for three months. Wow, look at that for a stadium. There's Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Let's uh, goals. Grab on direct cam. This we will do duty classic. And we will come jumping out. And the way we go. A very quiet opening heart, opening few moments to the game from the kickoff. But here come Tottenham. Ericsson's kick is uh, cleared by Cahill. But Tottenham coming back with Coupe. Or Capu. Capoue, sorry. Coupe. It's a car. Dembele. Oh, poor finish from Dembele. Interesting, though. Go on. Oh, Sterling. Sturridge, go! The old Liverpool. Oh, he's offside. <laughs> Interestingly, though, look, Fraser Forster still keeping Joe Hart out of the team, which is a little surprise, to be fair. Oh, the Ox. Oh, oh Jesus. Hugo Lloris, a one-man wall there against uh, against the Lions strike force. Sterling gives the ball away to Davis, but well cut out. Sterling, Sturridge, offside again. Storage keeps getting caught in offside positions, guys. Here's Ericsson, though. Here's Chad Lee. In England Lions are... Uh, I'm going to keep, keep calling them England now. The Lions are uh, restricting Tottenham at the moment to long-range efforts. It's... Uh... Oh, Storage goal! Lions 1, Tottenham 0. And uh, it's... Daniel Sturridge with the goal. A beautiful header. He's picked up a knock, though. So is the injury-prone Daniel Sturridge about to uh, miss out? Oh, Tottenham going straight for it with Dembele. Chadley, well cut out by Leighton Baines. And now can the Lions hit him on the break? The ball cut out by Henderson to Rooney. Oh, good ball. Oxlade Chamberlain couldn't get there. And it's gone now. The highlight is done. But this second half, they've they've started as they mean to go on England here. Or Lions, should I say. Tottenham, though, putting the ball around well. 
Uh oh, here we go now, Tottenham Ericsson. Oh, Soldado offside, I was going to say. Yeah, I'd be a bit annoyed if Soldado scored the equaliser against you. No disrespect, but he's not exactly the most prolific player in the world, is he? <laughs> Let's be honest. Surely Redknapp's got to think about ringing his storage off soon. Oxlade Chamberlain. Oh, oh, Rooney! What happened there? Oh, he's offside. Damn, man, he's offside. Unlucky, Rooney. <laughs> Oxley Chamberlain there clipping the bar and then Rooney was there to follow up. Bit eager to be fair, but he was there. Sterling to Sturridge to Rooney. 2 0. Surely that is not going to be offside. That'd be a travesty if it was. Superb movement. Um if I was Redknapp, I'd bring Sturridge off now. I know he's having a blinder, but you don't want to risk him. Look at that. Beautiful ball through. Composure of Rooney just to slot it past Larice. Harsh on Tottenham, harsh on Larice because Larice has had a cracking game. <laughs> Still no subs from Harry Red, that. Dembele. Who's Johnson? And this is Glenn Johnson either. Oh, Dembele scored! Dembele has scored for Tottenham. Squeaky bum time now. Cahill cleared it. Look at that. Good composure. Pulled it on. Megs. And then, oh, Foster got a, uh, Foster got a hand to it, but it went in still. Can Lyons see it out? Here's Oxley Chamberlain to Sterling. Rooney's in. Oh, nearly a late one. Rooney! Oh. It's finished 2-1. No changes from Redknapp. No subs. Surprising, very surprising. I would have expected to possibly see Sturridge. I know he had a fantastic game, but he picked up a knock. He's got man of the match, but I would have perhaps expected to see Danny Welbeck introduced at some point, maybe for Sturridge, or perhaps move Rooney up the top and bring Lalana in, something like that, or Barkley. But hey, what, what do I know? Redknapp's got the win on the opening day against his former club, Tottenham. So, you know, actions speak louder than words, my friends. But anyway, let us hop along now to just after the transfer window. And um, we'll have another another little look at a game, I think. And um, see how we're going. Or we might do an update in uh, January. And perhaps, now, perhaps do this kind of like a mini-series and break it down. We'll do... Uh, this will be episode one of season two. Then we'll do another game for episode two and then another game for episode three. Just to break it up a bit. Bournemouth have signed Ricky Lambert. That's a good bit of business for them. But let's jump ahead and see where the Lions are halfway through the season. And then we'll call it a video there and then we'll pick it up in the next episode. Okie dokie then guys, we're halfway through the season, I just realised right after I said what I said about we'll do a game here, a game there and a game wherever, it's not going to work is it? Because we do uh, update beginning of the season, update in the middle, update the end, that would mean I'd have to basically do this episode then go look these are the results then come back do an episode, go to the end of the season say these are the results then come back just for a pointless video at the end just to show a game so Ignore that, we'll do one game this video and the final, you know, uh, one game next video. Uh, but we're halfway through the season, we're up to February the 6th, and um, the Lions are in fourth place, uh, just behind Chelsea, but um, Chelsea themselves are 10 points behind United, so it's going to be difficult for the Lions to uh, stand a chance of winning the league this season if you ask me um as far as the you know stats are concerned they've got nobody in the top four of anything which is surprising really surprising uh let's have a look transfers they've loaned a couple of players out i believe i've spotted it you know when it's been going through yep nip powell and moat have gone down to brentford they must have, I think they've just literally gone, have they? Uh, and Powell went over on the 9th. 
Why is he unavailable? I don't know what's gone on there. A bit bizarre, that. And uh, Mowat's gone over. They've gone over. They're not playing. Something doesn't seem quite right there. Stoke have loaned Tom Cleverly. He's also on the transfer list as well. So his Lions FC career not going very well at all. Um, let's have a little look at how they've done in the league and in the cup competitions. So, if we start off in the Premier League, okay, so we saw them beat uh, Tottenham 2 1 on the opening day. They followed that up with a 1 0 win over Norwich. Uh, Harry Kane with the goal there. Then lost 2 1 at home to Liverpool. Uh, Christian Benteke with two goals for Liverpool there. Danny Welbeck with the goal for the Lions. Uh, Fulham were beaten by two goals to one away from home. And that bloody dog's barking at stuff. Every time I come to record a video, bloody dog. Jordan Henderson and Ashley Young have scored the goals there. A 3 2 defeat. For quite, no disrespect to Swans, but I'd imagine quite disappointingly um, against Swansea. Sturridge and Baines with the goals uh, for the Lions. They then beat. Southampton by three goals to two. Sterling, Chamberlain and Milner. And then 3-2 against Newcastle. Uh, Rooney, Welbeck, Chamberlain with the goals there. A 4-0 thumping of Aston Villa. Leighton Baines, Oxley, chamberlain Rooney and Henderson. Henderson seems to be getting a few you know, getting a few good uh, performances in. They absolutely annihilated Manchester City at uh, the city of Manchester Stadium. Remember last season, Manchester City thumped them. I think it was, was it 4-5-0, something like that? Uh, Sturridge, Sterling and Theo Walker. I haven't seen his name crop up a lot. A one all draw at the Emirates. Um, that's the Wayne Rooney's penalty there. A 5-1 win at Ipswich. Uh, Walcott, well bet with a hat trick, and uh, Leighton Baines. Everton were beaten 4 0 at Goodison Park, well bet with a couple Sterling and Sturridge. A 0 0 draw with Blackburn, then two defeats on the bounce. Chelsea beat them 3 2 at Wembley, well bet and Sturridge with the goals there. And then 2 0 away at West at uh, home to West Ham, sorry, and a Valencia with a double there. They managed to beat Watford by four goals to nil. Uh, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Sterling, Sturridge and Milner. Lost 4-3 against Manchester United. Uh, Henderson, Rooney and Sturridge with the goals there. A 3-2 win over Stoke. Uh, Sterling and Rooney. 1-0 against West Brom, which was a Gary Cahill penalty. A 2-2 draw with Norwich. Um... Josh Murphy, I have made the executive decision that I'm going to move him to Lions in the summer because I like that guy. He's a good player. He's a great player on FM. So I'm going to give him the opportunity to play for Lions next season. Uh, Tottenham, they drew 2-2 with. Leighton Baines and Wayne Rooney. Two goals for Ericsson for Spurs. A 1-1 draw with Liverpool. Sturridge scoring against his former club. Then they got hammered 4-1. 4-1 at home to Fulham. A team they beat uh, 2-1 away earlier on the season. Harry Kane with the consolation there. But what has gone on there, guys? What has happened to England there? They've just been absolutely poleaxed at home to Fulham. A one all draw away at Southampton. Thanks to Daniel Sturridge. And last time out, Swansea pulling the double. 3-2 victory again over the Lions. Welbeck and Oxlade Chamberlain with the goals there for England. But they're going into the final you know, the final run of the season. Sitting in a healthy fourth place in the league. So they could do alright. Champions League is a possibility. As far as the Capital One Cup's concerned, a disaster. Absolute disaster. They lost 3-0 at home to Arsenal. Don't forget, for some reason. They, they don't appear in the FA Cup. Um, I made a boo-boo when I set it up. So we don't have to worry about the FA Cup at least. Europa League wise though. They seem to have sort of settled into the Europa League quite well. 
Uh, a 3-1 win over CSKA Moscow. Um, Kane with a double. Henderson with one there. And then the home leg was a 3-2 win. Two for Rooney, one for Leighton Baines. And then when they got to the group stages, they beat Austria Vienna uh, by a goal to nil thanks to Daniel Sturridge. Drew two all with Sporting Lisbon. Uh, Stones and Sturridge with the goal there. Goals are there. Then they absolutely spanked Marseille by four goals to nil. A Rooney double, Jack Wilshire and Lee Stewart. Now, those of you who are unsure as to who Lee Stewart is, he is one of their regens. He came through uh, last season and um, he's, he's played in the Europa League and he's got a goal. So fair play to him there. Absolutely superb stuff from that kid. Uh, they then won 2-1 in the home tie against Marseille, thanks to Rooney and Oxlade-Chamberlain. They lost 2-1 away at austria Vienne. Uh, well bet with the goal there for... Um, excuse me, for the Lions. And James Holland on the score sheet, the Australian guy over there uh, for the home side. They then managed to beat uh, Sporting Lisbon by two goals to one, Diego Capel. Uh, with Lisbon's goal, but Welbeck and Lalana with the goals for the Lions. So they're going into the knockout stages of the Europa League now, at least, with Metalist over two legs. You'd fancy them, guys, but you'd really fancy them to, to progress to the next round in this. No disrespect meant to Metalist at all, but uh, in terms of the, the size of the clubs, I mean, if you, if you go to uh, Lions... Oh, stop it. <laughs> if you go to uh, to the overview of the club, um, and then, you know, you can see that worldwide reputation, bang up there, rich. But if you look at the England squad, you know, the major clubs, they are top of the major clubs. Um, so, you know, it's interesting to, to see how they do. And they've got some amazing players. But it just goes to show you guys that the... The players that are in the England national team at the moment would struggle in the Premier League as a team. Uh, well, it suggests that, doesn't it? It suggests. Obviously, you don't know what real life would do compared to this. That's what it suggests. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to call it there for this episode halfway through the season. Tune in next episode. We'll recap the uh, end of the season. We'll we'll show you a game from between now and the end of the season as well. Perhaps a Europa League game, maybe, or... If there's if something really important comes into play in the Premier League, we can have a look at a Premier League game. But uh, guys, smack that thumbs up. Um, got the the views on this series aren't great, and the uh, the likes ratio isn't great. We even got a dislike, which I expected. Uh, doesn't I don't I, you know it doesn't really affect me dislikes. It's just one of those things. Uh, you know, people everybody's entitled to their opinion and all that blah 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 rubbish um but yeah drop some comments below guys what do you reckon where do you reckon they'll finish this season do you reckon red and apple still have a job come the end of the season or do you reckon he'll be another one season wonder at the lions like uh your man there roy hodson was but uh guys let me know below um hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed please do so go check out other my other videos my other series uh, if you're into like really long standing series, then go check out my AFC Hinkley save this season. Uh, just recently re picked that up, and we're really kicking on with that again now. So it's, I'm really enjoying it, going really well. Uh, started a Troy series as well uh, in France, and to be honest with you guys, the the interest in that is quite low. So you guys need to really pump it up if you want to see more of that. But for now, guys, in the comments below, don't mean keep it clean, and I'll catch you next time. To the pip, old chap.